with another video and today we're gonna have a look at it's called let me remind myself notificator for iPad so this one this basically gives you notifications for all the little things that you do on your iPad so for example I'm gonna plug in my headphones right now hopefully it doesn't mess up the video and you should get a notification that says headphones connected if you disconnect it I wonder if it does the same thing headphones disconnected yeah but also because I've got a tweet called aloud it also speaks it aloud right let me plug it back in because I need it so and if I sync with my computer if I can remember where that setting is general Wi-Fi. I press sync. Also, don't forget a little flippy down thing when it starts to sync. Maybe, maybe not. Okay, then basically when that starts to sync, it will do it. But you know, all the little things that happen, you get a little notification. So when my battery get when my battery goes low, I'll get a notification that flips down from the top. And you know, you know, like when you get here a Wi-Fi zone, and it, you get the little badge that pops up. Now you get a little notificator instead, so it doesn't disrupt whatever you're doing. So I'm going to click notificator and see some of the options. So here we have the enable disable switch. We have the new events so you can have a look through, which is power on events when you you know plug it in the charger. It will tell you when you plug off the charger. It will tell you. you. Can also add a sound to it. Full charge events so you know when charge is full. It will tell you with a little notification and a sound. When it starts syncing, it will do the Wi-Fi events. When you join your home Wi-Fi, it will let you know. Bluetooth events, you know. Basically, I let you guys read it as you're going through. I don't really need to tell you. You do have eyes and ears. So, here are the little things that you can get it to notify you with. If you're looking, if I'm not scrolling too fast. Back existing events low battery data access Wi-Fi picker events and as you can see some of these ones they replace that actually with system ones so this one says replaces the default low battery and this replaces the no data access which I've not encountered because I have a 3G iPad sound preview this is all the different sounds you could set it to but you can't hear them because of the display recorder and more have a click more oh, okay these are the different add-ons you can have speak events which you have to jump through so many hoops to get a license so I gave up on that one and I purchased aloud instead so what aloud does is every time you get a notification something that happens <coughs> sorry it reads it out to you really loud which is pretty good and pretty bad sometimes depending on how promiscuous promiscuous you are but it also reads out all your text messages, Facebook, Twitter, anything that comes in, it will speak it aloud and it could get highly embarrassing. So that is notification for the iPad. And I will end that video wondering why my computer will not sync to my iPad via Wi-Fi. Probably my connection, but that's a total level issue. So thank you for watching. And, you know, do the whole rate, comment, subscribe thingy and let me know what you think. Bye.